Hello everybody, I am back here at UKGE and I am joined by Tom from Goblin King Games. I'm reliably informed that is who you are. That is who I am. Hi, Jerry. Lucky to see you again. Yeah. Oh, likewise. So, we obviously had to stop here because I wouldn't let anybody else do this interview. Uh, and if I had to walk past the booth and, and be told no, I would cry. Um, but first thing first, congratulations, for you are a double yeah, award winner. Multi-award winning game, Moonstone. That, that is sensational. <laughs> so your first big award? Yeah, first first time we've ever entered anything and um, got the clean sweep and won both both categories. Best miniatures range and best miniatures rules. <laughs> See, that, you know, quality quality shines through. I've always said it. Uh, and it's embarrassing that this is the first time that you've won something. But before we get into that, if people haven't seen Moonstone before, which is an outrage, um, what is Moonstone? So, Moonstone is the wonderfully whimsical skirmish. Oh, I was going to see if you could do it without whimsical. Oh, never, never. Every, always use it as much as possible. Um, so, it's a small model count, typically six models per side. You're fighting over magic stones. And we have a fairly unique way to resolve conflict resolution with um, custom cards. So, you're uh, playing a hand of cards against your opponent and you're trying to guess what they've got and mislead them. You can kind of play your cards simultaneously and there's a big ah moment on one side or the other typically. So you're always involved in the action. Um, you're never kind of waiting your turn. You know, you're, it's quite fast paced, the rules quite streamlined, but it's just a, an interesting way to, to resolve things rather than just rolling a dice and seeing what you get. Yeah, the, the card mechanics was one of the big draws for me. The first time I played it, I was blown away by how smoothly it worked. But the other, and probably biggest draw of all, are the miniatures. Um, now, there are currently three factions available for people to play, and they don't always, you're not building points values, you're not, you're not limiting yourself with that. Can you tell people a bit about the factions and how you construct your troop? Yeah, you're right. So currently, as you say, there are three. Uh, that may change in the near future, but at the moment we have three. So um, it's very, very simple. I want to make, when I'm trying to design a game, you want to make everything that can be simple as simple as it can be so that people have got the mental capacity to focus in on the fun bits, the decision making. Yeah. Nobody wants to look up tables and get their Excel spreadsheet out when they don't need to. Or at least I don't want to. So it's very simple. You choose your faction, Commonwealth, Dominion or Leshevolt. You agree with your opponent or opponents, because it is multiplayer as well, how many you're each going to bring. So 5v5 is common and 6v6 is common. Depends if you want to play for 90, you know, an hour to 90 minutes or 90 minutes to two hours. Um, and then you just choose the models you like and you, you go, you set them up and you play. Yeah, I think that's the bit that I love the most, the fact that there's no points, there's no rarity. It is just, the, well, everything is unique but you can take whatever combination of anything that works within those factions as you want. And the factions are so mixed as well. You're not just playing with a evil faction or a, a human faction. There's a lot of difference in there. Yeah, we want to have that kind of depth. And, and like you said, every character is interesting. Every character's got a backstory. Every character's got a unique play style. So there's no heroes and chaff. You know, you want all of your miniatures to be really cool, or at least I do. Yeah. You know, I designed the game that I wanted to play, so I want all my miniatures to be cool, not just one or two, and then a load of ones that I get bored painting. I want, I want, to, I want to enjoy painting them all. And apparently that gets you an award, so that must work. That's a note for games designers out there. If you're interested, make the game that you want to play and make it cool. Now, you recently had a Coronation Chicken, a new Goblin King. Do you have anything exciting and new for the expo, or are we no, teasing? We've got a handful, a tiny, tiny number of chickens, but they'll all be gone by tomorrow. So if anybody comes on Saturday, they might be too late. But um, no, that, that, that's over. But we're gearing up towards a new Kickstarter for a fourth faction later on in the year. So possibly around September. So all of our design and development work at the moment is going into that. So that will be really. I say that we do actually. We're going to sneak in one more. Uh, release before the Kickstarter and that is uh, Tree Folk. We've got Tree Spirits coming. There's a box of Tree Spirits uh, for the Le Chevalt, as you like to say. La Chevalt. The official way to say it. That is the official way to say it. Uh, if you haven't seen Moonstone, 
Tom has come over before, played some games with us, which was absolutely fantastic. So you can check those out and see how it plays. If you're here at the Expo, definitely come over and check out the cabinet of the award-winning miniatures and have a chat with Tom and whoever else is on the stand about the award-winning rules. Um, and yeah, just get involved in Moonstone. Why are you not already involved in Moonstone? Uh, so yeah, where can people find you in the main hall then? Uh, so if you come up the stairs from Hall 1 to Hall 2, uh, we're really near the entrance to Hall 2 and you'll see a big uh, 4 metre flag that says Moonstone at the top, so um, that's the best way. Do you know your number? No, I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. We, do the long way. we will find the number and pop it below. Uh, keep your eye out for Moonstone in the future as well and that fourth faction that might be uh, a bit of fun, putting the fun back into fun bed. Anyway, we shall move on and see what else is here at the Expo. Bye bye.